Hello guys, so today I'll be taking you guys through exploratory testing and as I would said before, this is where the real stuff starts, eh? So basically we'll go through the basics and here you learn the process of taking a step-by-step -step approach to testing a website and basically it doesn't have like too much to do, just make sure you read the courses and follow through. And a lot of guys are asked for this video, so I hope all of you guys subscribe and like the video. So let's get into it. So the exploratory testing course, as you can see, there are a couple of modules here. And you have about four modules. Three of them have quizzes, and you're going to do all of them. So in this course, you learn what it means to test a website, a mobile application, in an, explorer, in an exploratory way, and how you properly document your findings. As you can see here down, it's two hours to complete the whole course. But I'm sure that's just because they want you to take notes, because, you know, they're giving you work and they have they definitely have to review it and so you need to be you need to reach to the standards so let's click on bug types so that's the first module so we can click on it you know just go through the basics i'll help you with the quizzes and yeah let's get started So it's loading. Um, okay, so here's bug types. In this module, you will learn different bugs on your platform and what attachments you need to create for future bug reports. So basically, you'll just learn the types of bugs because there are a couple of bugs, not just one. So let's just click on go to quiz. You can read the article. Make sure you read the article on your free time. And let's click on go to quiz. So the first question, a content bug, a broken link for for error is upgraded to a low functional bug it's a link is located in. So which areas can this link be located that the bug will be upgraded to a low functional bug? So I told you there are different types of bugs. So there's content, visual, and functional. And in this case, a low functional bug. So we will first go with the header and the footer, then the breadcrumb navigation and the navigation menu. These are all areas that are really sensitive. So as you can select those ones, let's select those ones. They're all sensitive areas, and for you getting a content bug here, we'll definitely upgrade to a low functional. So let's click on next. Can spelling mistakes be submitted as content bugs? Uh, the answer here is no. Spelling mistakes are not content bugs. Those are visual bugs. Okay, so let's continue. Click on next. Which of the following scenarios are certainly functional bugs as compared to usability suggestions? So the question here is asking which scenarios are definitely bugs, are definitely going to be bugs. And you have three answers that are correct. So an unknown error appears that does not let you continue. That is definitely a functional bug. A button that does not trigger any action. That is definitely a functional bug. Uh, your expectation of how a feature should work differs from how, you actually, how it actually works. No, you don't look at a website according to the features. They'll give you a scope, and when you read about the scope is when you'll know what features to expect in the website and what you can look for. So a feature in the customer's web shop works differently from a feature in the same web, shops. web, uh, web shops, you know. Uh, no, that is not the answer. So the answer here is A. The customer's product works differently from what was stated in the test instructions. So as I've told you before, you're going to be given a scope, and that's, those are the instructions that you look for and know how to and what to test in the, in the bug, exploratory bug. So the answer here is E. And let's click on next. So what bug type would you suggest for the following bug? When a user clicks on the... Okay, let's let's look at the video first. Um, okay. So the guy goes to pricing, clicks on pricing. Once on the pricing page, he clicks back on, back on test IO. Um, so you don't see any bug there because that, the that is how our website works. You click on the name of a website, it will not be a bug. It will definitely take you to the homepage. So it's not a bug. What bug type would you suggest for the following bug? On the landing page, when changing the language to Russia, 
some tabs on the main navigation menu remain in English. Um, so here we have an issue with the language and it's not converting the language. So here we'll have an issue with the content and this will be a content bug because the language is the issue. The language is not changing. You're changing a language and it's displaying the wrong content. So in this selection, we'll choose a content bug. I hope I'm explaining well. So let's click on next and continue. What bug type would you suggest for the following bug? On the home and living product page, when the custom price filter from $10 to $12 is applied, some products or said are given the price range are still displayed. Uh, this is a functional and a low functional bug. So it told you there's functional uh, content and visual. So there are different levels of these bugs. And there's functional low, high, and critical. You'll see them as we continue. So click on next and let's continue. So what bug type would you suggest for the following bug? The label cannot reproduce for the right button is cropped out and not fully visible. Um, okay, so let's scroll down and look at the example. So as you can see here, the button is not fully visible and can is fully visible. This will be a visual bug because it's not that the can is not there, it's just that the button is not designed well. So it's bringing an issue. They actually just said fully visible, so it's a visual bug. And yeah, I guess, make sure you read through the content so you can understand how to look for these bugs and what type of bugs they are. So make sure you read through the article, sorry. So click on visual, and let's click on next. What bug type would you suggest for the following bug? Users are unable to sign into their Apple account. Tapping on continue.apple on the sign-in page leads to a 403 message error. Error message, sorry. So this will be a functional and a high bug. Yeah, so, so the severity of the bug is high. Because this is a big issue for someone who owns Apple. You want people to be able to access their accounts. So functional, high bug. Okay, let's click on next. The app crashes when the user taps cancel button while two images are being uploaded. Okay, let's open and look at that. So this is the guy's Apple. As you can see, he selects two images and clicks on done. Okay, so the app crashed and it displayed. Okay, so this this will definitely be a functional critical bug. This is a critical bug. So it crashed, like everything just went completely and that is a very critical bug in any application or website, if anything crashes fully. So let's click on finish and see what we got here. So we passed the module and definitely, cause you know, we just, so make sure you, you read through the modules. So let's go to our next module and let's complete it. So click back to the course page, scroll down and click on complete module. So we are going to the bug reports attachment. So click on complete module. So bug reports attachments. In this module, learn attachments. So this is basically what I was telling you guys about. You learn what to attach to what bug. And you learn about screen screencasts and screenshots. And so basically make sure you read through the article. So let's go click on quiz. Which on the full instead? So the current date must be visible. So A and B, C, no. So a screenshot should be attached when the nature of the bug is static. Yes. And E, any common date formats like DDM, DMM, DD, double, you know the date formats, those ones are definitely acceptable in your screencast or screenshots. So we'll be looking at which screenshot is actually correct. So A is definitely not correct because it doesn't show which button you're clicking on. 
So the answer here is D. Okay, let's go to the next question. Which actions do you have to include in your screencast? At least the last navigational steps triggering the bug and itself. Sometimes more steps for better comprehension of the problem. So that's the answer here. So let's click on next and continue. In order to make your screencast more comprehensible, highlighting your performance action is highlighting your performed action is required for which system? So here is Android mobile devices and desktop computers. This is the answer here. So okay, let's click on next. Which one of the following statements is true about screencasts? You must always record. So the answer here is actually recording the section of your screen must be big enough for the viewers to understand the problem, and all sounds should be muted. So the answer is C and D. Make sure you make that correction. Okay, what's wrong with the screencast? So let's check it out. So this guy is, in, is on his dashboard. So as you can see here, there's some, it's loading. It's loading for some time. His cursor, his cursor, the mouse pointer doesn't have a label on it or does not show what it's doing. It's not highlighted. Um, we can't see the date. So as you can see, these are some issues you see, and those are definitely things you need to require. So the clicks are not highlighted. Um, for endless loading, the internet speed should be shown on the screencast, and there is no date display. So select those ones. So it's H here, A and C. Okay. So let's select those ones and go to next. Oh, we actually finished. So let's click on finish. Let's see what we got. Okay, so we passed the module. So this is the correct answer I was telling you about. So make sure you make that change. Even if you didn't, don't worry, you'll still pass the module. Um, okay, so make sure you click on back to the module page. And so we're going to do the last, uh, the last step here and it's going to be quite a process. Because it's bug report. So we are reporting a whole bug. And in this video, we'll be shown a bug. So this was my, my third trial. So make sure if, if you're doing your first or second trial, make sure you get to the third trial and click on new bug, new bug, so they don't repeat or give you the same bug to do again. So, okay, let's view it and see what we have. Okay, so under the full meal deal, uh, submit, okay. So those are steps, but they not take note of those steps because that's what you're going to be recording. So under please select a photo, as you can see that, so select a photo, click on select a photo, click on the pop-up search bar, then click on, the, type in cut and click on the search icon on the left. Okay, click on the white card, then click on the last card below, I guess. Yeah, click on the last card below. There was nothing displayed. So those are the steps we're going to be noting down here. So here's my title. So, okay, change that. So when a user clicks on an image and views it, okay, um, then clicks on the previews of the other image. So make sure when you're using a mouse or pointer, make sure you're using click, clicks on another image a blank preview is displayed. So always describe what you're facing, not what is not happening. So you won't find me saying, I uh, did not view image. So it's a blank preview was displayed. So let's look at that again so we can see the steps. So under the full meal deal, I clicked on submit. So the first step is always open the website. Um, so our second, uh, our second step will be under the home page, under the full meal deal, click on submit. So that will be our second step. Okay, so let's scroll and see our third step. So this is where we clicked on please select uh, your favorite image, type in cut. Okay, so this will be our third step. And so you can see scroll down. Till you reach, please select a photo of your favorite thing and click select a photo. So this is our third step. So this is where we land on the page, where uh, the pop-up, sorry. 
So as you can see here is the pop-up. Then you type in cart. So on the left you select the search icon. So let's fill in our fourth step. Fourth step. Okay, so this will be our fourth step. On the, on the pop-up, the search tab, type in cart and click on the logo, the search, sorry, the search icon on the left. So always indicate the direction of these things. Okay, so let's go back and look at the steps. Let me just fill in that. Okay. It's looking good. So let's go look. Our fifth step will be click on any cut image and view. So let's add our sixth step. Um, so as you guys can see, um, so click on the white cut image and view. And then the last one, click on the last cut image and observe. So you can pause the, word, the video here and look at the actual results and the expected results. And you can just read them through and learn what I typed. So let's click on submit and see. So we'll wait for the review. So let me come back and check. So guys, we passed the review and we passed the module. So these are all the answers to the bug course. And I hope you guys liked the video. Subscribe and share, please. So you can help with the algorithm. So as you can see, we earned our certifications and we're certified exploratory testers and reproduction testers. And let me take you through now how to add your devices. So for your first device, click on the button. Click on any device that you have. So after you've added any device, for me it's my laptop. So the last for which type, it's a Windows laptop. And select the version. So we'll select first the browsers so explorer um chrome uh firefox and opera but you can use just any any that you want so my windows 10 os is windows 10 um okay so click on my devices up to date it will reroute you back to the dashboard so you can click on add languages um so here we have a couple of things uh, make sure you add your hobbies because sometimes they look at these hobbies and okay so select any that you want feel free give a driving license yes so click on add languages so as for me my first language is english so I'll scroll down to english so make sure you add all your languages uh my second language is swahili um, okay, okay, okay. So, okay, Swahili, Swahili is not here, so Swahili. So, so. okay, um, so update my address, and that's it. My country is Kenya, and everything is okay. So, basically, I hope you guys like, share, and subscribe again. And see you on my next video. Show some love down in the comment section down below. See you again, my G's.